Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be making a repeated oblique scarf splice joint. As with most of the joints, you'll need to first prepare your timber, square and true. And for this joint, I'm making a square profile. The joint length should be somewhere between three and four times the thickness of the material. So let's mark off three or four times the thickness and just pick a point at random between those two. And then we square that length off of both components. Then we take half the thickness and gauge that off at both ends of the joint. Now taking the chisel that we're going to use to cut the groove at the ends of the joint, we mark away from that centre mark by the thickness of the chisel. And we can mark in the two sloped scarf lines. Using dividers I find the centre point of both the slopes and I can mark in for the step. Then using the chisel again I can mark in for the lengths of both the tongues and grooves at each end of the joint. before carefully marking in the waist on the first side of the components. The central step is cut at an angle of about 1 in 20 uh, to make the joint easier to put together so I'm transferring that across with the bevel gauge. Then the waist is marked on all faces and double checked for accuracy. And now it's time to remove all the waste. Now although it looks okay, it was slightly loose in its length, so I made up a thin shim to go between the two steps. Then it's time to mark in for the two square pegs that hold it together, because of course this is a dry joint, there's no glue to be used on this one. With the mortises completed I can prepare two tightly fitting pegs. Once installed the excess can be sawn away and planed flush. And the sharp corners just eased a little. 
and I must say I'm quite impressed at how rigid and strong this joint appears to be. So that's the rabbited oblique scarf splice joint. Why not give it a go? Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!